Our headlines today, a post-mortem examination is to be carried out on the body of a baby found by police searching for the missing child of Constance Martin and Mark Gordon. The couple are still being questioned by police. A bitter row over school closures. More of Matt Hancock's WhatsApp messages reveal further questions over the government's handling of the coronavirus pandemic. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex say they've been told to give up their UK home in the grounds of Windsor Castle, given to the couple by the Queen. Good morning. Millions of meals are going to waste. And with food poverty rising, how can we get the surplus from the farm to your dinner table? I'll have the details. Good morning after a night of FA Cup magic with two big upsets. League 2 Grimsby winning at Premier League Southampton to send their fans into Harry Haddock heaven, while championship side Sheffield United also reached the quarterfinals, knocking out Tottenham. Good morning from Birmingham. It's World Book Day and it's also a new chapter for the UK's biggest children's story writing competition. 500 Words is back on the BBC and it's here on Breakfast. Royal Television Society Journalism Awards have taken place in central London this evening. The awards celebrate creativity and excellence in journalism and the BBC won prizes in several categories. The, BBC, the news coverage international prize was awarded for the BBC's coverage of the war in Ukraine, which judges described as brave frontline reporting and insightful coverage of the refugee problem. The network presenter of the year is... Clive Myrie! And Clive Myrie was named Network Presenter of the Year. He was to recognise for his work in Ukraine and his ability to bring empathy as well as authority to his broadcasting while under the most intense pressure. Let's take a look now at some of the front pages of the morning's newspapers. And we'll start with the front page of The Telegraph, which leads on those latest from the Matt Hancock WhatsApp messages. This time, as we've told you in the dispute with Gavin Williamson over when to close schools. The Guardian also leads on... Hancock and writes that ministers are now concerned about the effect that these leaks will have on the official COVID inquiry. The Daily Mirror calls it a tragic betrayal. The Metro also leads on the leaks, while The Times reports that millions will be helped to come off antidepressants and painkillers in an effort to deal with addiction. The Financial Times reports that the Governor of the Bank of England, Andrew Bailey, says that markets are wrong to assume the bank will raise interest rates further. The I reports on bird flu and the possibility of vaccinating chickens in the UK to stop it from spreading to humans. The Daily Mail has an appeal from Carrie Johnson to the Justice Secretary Dominic Raab for a man who killed his wife to be kept in prison. The Sun reports on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex being asked to vacate Frogmore Cottage. And that is also the lead story for The Express. Now, if you want to see those front pages again and read the stories attached, scan the QR code. That you... A story that's in one of the papers this morning about the return of Arctic rolls. Do you remember that classic dessert from the 70s and 80s? Ice cream in sponge mm. in a Where, roll Where is it form. returning to? Apparently, sales of these items have gone up, and this is not one particular brand or supermarket, but rocketed by 143% year on year. Now, I bet Carol remembers the Arctic rolls of her youth. <laughs> do you, Carol? I certainly do, with some canned fruit. Oh, my goodness, that was the height of luxury, Rachel. 